Hello and uh, welcome to the International Boxing Federation's 7th World Women's Championships from the beautiful coastal city of Xinhuangtao in northern China. 300 kilometers east of Beijing in the Hebei province, Xinhuangtao hosted the soccer preliminary rounds for the 2008 Beijing Olympics and the Asian Games at its Olympic Sports Center where today's boxing finals come from. The 2012 Women's World Boxing Champs is both historical and record-breaking, with 305 athletes from 70 nations creating the highest ever entry list in history. And also this serves as the only Olympic qualifier, as women's boxing joins the London 2012 roster of sports in three weight divisions, fly, light and middleweight, for the very first time. But at the finals of these World Championships, there are 10 weight divisions to be contested. And after 12 days of competition, we will start the action with the light fly, fly, bantamweight, feather, lightweight, light welter, welterweight, middle, light heavy and heavyweight. Well, it is at the... Uh, Fly, light fly competition that is the first of uh, the finals and it promises to be a real thrilling start two of uh, the boxers in action from China and the Philippines really have been uh, the giant killers of uh, the uh, light fly division Zhu Shiki of uh, China defeating the world number one uh, Lindsay Holdaway from Wales and uh, Josie Kabuko from uh, the Philippines disposing of world number two and world number three boxers to claim her spot in today's final competition. It really has been a, a superbly run tournament here in China, I have to say. Big crowds expected with uh, China as the host nation having the most finalists with the chance to potentially take four gold medals in the 10 weight divisions. The USA fields three finalists, England, Russia and Poland, all with two chances of taking gold medals. Also, this the one and only Olympic qualifying event, as we said earlier, with uh, 24 quota or places awarded to the quarter-finalists in the three Olympic weight divisions. Eight spots going in the flyweight 51 kilos, the lightweight 60 kilos and the middleweight at 75 kilos and a further 24 places making a total of 48 will be decided by the national federations. So let's get ready for the presentation of the first boxers in our first final here in Xin uh, Huangtao's uh, Olympic Sports Centre, Zhu Shiki. Look at this for an impressive uh, pathway to the final. The most impressive, Lindsay Holdaway, the Welsh world number one. Comfortably beaten Holdaway by 20 to 9. This 24-year-old from the Beijing Sports University has looked so impressive in uh, this uh, tournament. And perhaps most impressively, or the most interesting of statistics against her name, is that she's beaten her opponent earlier this year at the Asian Games in the quarterfinals, 16-10. So, Josie Gabuko will know that. The Filipino boxer, 25 years of age, coached by the uh, Velasco brothers, Nolito and Real, the Southeast Asian Games uh, champion. And... Uh, Josie, it's fair to say, is boxed out of her skin throughout this tournament, defeating the world rank number three from Mongolia. Tumurkiak in the preliminary rounds and in her semi-final, beating Svetlana Zhenvanova, the world number two, to earn her place in this uh, last bout in the light fly division. Well, Veronika Jukes, the Hungarian referee for this uh, first bout. Denmark, Russia, Slovakia, Bulgaria and Norway, the nationalities of our five judges 
A quick reminder for women's elite boxing rules and regulations. Four rounds, but two minutes in length for each with a one minute break in between. Unlike men's elite boxing where we have three three minute rounds. And of course that will remain the format as women's boxing makes its debut at the London Olympic Games just 69 days away. Boxers jab with the left hand, big hands with the right, and uh, perhaps the key stat against both these boxers' name is the one we mentioned earlier. Definitely worth a second mention. Zushiki of uh, China, the first of four Chinese finalists in action today, got the better of uh, Josie Gabuko in the Asian Championships earlier this year. It was a quarter-final victory, 16-10. But it's a great start for the Filipino boxer. Big right hand in the first exchanges. And they're mixing up quite nicely. Double jab uppercut from the Philippine boxer in blue. Nice start. No signs of nerves from Gabuko at all. And uh, if anything, Zhu just a little frustrated with herself. She's not settled as quickly, certainly as she did in her semi-final bout, where she got the better of the Kazakh boxer, Nazim Kazabai. Very good, good one-two there. Well, certainly good jab followed up with a right from Zoot. That's her first uh, points on the board. A lovely short hook, though, the Philippine boxer in blue. And uh, Zoo will need to watch out for that. That's not a short one, that's uh, certainly a big one from the right. But it's a short hook with the left hand that uh, was her effective weapon to beat uh, Jemvanova in the semi final. Ten seconds left now in the first round, and a good start for both. Gabuko definitely warmed up and ready to go from the bell in the first, but uh, Zoo now starts to get into her rhythm. The Chinese boxer just has the advantage. First of uh, four rounds, 2-1. And uh, there is uh, Zhu. Must be a little nervous. Not a lot of the punches on the target in that slow motion, but there was one. Connected with that upper cut with the left there. Gabuko. Both these boxers have earned their right to contest the gold medal at these world championships. But uh, some stern words in the red corner for Zoo, and she just came in a little almost lackadaisical and now she seems to be firing on all cylinders and that big right hand at uh, Gabuko as uh, Zoo having to look for the counter punch good right hand hook from the Chinese boxer in red Zeus' speed that was uh, most impressive. We've yet to see some of those fast combinations. That shocked so many. And, uh, to work with. Uh, Point score to the body as well as the head. Gabuko, slightly taller of the two boxers. Good shots there from uh, Zhu. Counter punch right, straight. As the uh, Chinese crowd roar, and again another very good right hand.
again, another good counter punch right hand from Zhu. Excellent uh, ring craft from bo both boxers here. Every centimeter of that ring has been used in the second round. Impressive work rate. But two uh, clear counter punch scores with the right hand from Zushiki give uh, the uh, Chinese boxer the second round 3 2. And at the halfway point in this uh, opening final, Zhu of China leads 5 3. She's got the range absolutely perfect. There's uh, one of those right hands, not quite sure whether that would have been scored, could have possibly been with the inside of the glove. But uh, a very light footwork and uh, the range finding for Zhu. Most impressive in that second round. Trying to lead, 5 3. Two two minute rounds left to go. Zhu in the red. Gabuko for the Philippines in the blue. Good right hand again. Right to the head. And, uh, excellent start to round three here. Uses the guard well to Zhu. Covers up for the combination punches from the Filipino. A little messy. Pushing, Jeffrey tells uh, Josie. Gabuko of the Philippines in blue now. Gabuko really does need to start putting a marker down here. She loses this third round. It's going to be an uphill struggle. Slight problem with the head guard for Gabuko. Just under a minute on the clock for this uh, third round. Two good point scoring punches so far from Zhu. We haven't seen much from Gabuko. The game. This time it's a problem with the glove for Zushiki. There's a good right hand from Gabuko. This will be her first score of this round. 30 seconds. Punch there from the Zoop. Read it perfectly. Ten seconds in this third round. On to uh, Josie Gabuko, 4-3, which really does make it for a very tight fourth and final round. The Chinese boxer leads 8-7. to seven. There's still a chance that Josie Gabuko could take this for the Philippines. There's that right hand that we saw in real time. Again from the overhead camera.
Good work from the Philippine boxer. Now, for the first time perhaps in this tournament, Zushiki of China is under a little bit of pressure. This fourth and final round promises to be full of fireworks here right now. By the boxers for the taking. Just not quite happy. Everybody's out of the corner. First point there. Goes to Zhu with the right hand. Just seems to have lost the momentum, Zhu, a little bit. A little bit of the confidence has been taken away by the persistence and the perseverance of Gabuko. And there's another right hand right through the guard of Zhu. All square for me at, at this point. And Josie Kabuka looking the more confident of the two. Just got a little bit quiet. Zoo. sense of occasion but she just needs to regain that composure that confidence the footwork from the Chinese boxer there keep your head up and uh, Good right hook there from Zhu. She just got that one point of advantage. There's the uppercut. That got through the guard quite nicely. A lovely right uppercut from Zhu. Working well on the infighting there. Now Josie Gabuko looking a little tired. 20 seconds left on the clock in the fourth and final round for the World Championship gold medal in the light fly division. Incredibly close match. Stinging jab from Zoo. There's the clock. Well, for me, just Zoo with a really strong right and a wonderful uppercut when they were both engaged in some very difficult close fighting on the ropes. But again, I'm happy to leave it to the judges with, uh, remember, Zhu coming into this fourth and final round with just one point advantage. Brave performance from uh, Josie Kabuko of the Philippines. Coming back in the third round to win 4-3, is it enough? Must be two points clear in this fourth and final. She's done it. And that is quite a surprise. And what an outcome. Fantastic results for Josie Kabuko from the Philippines. Losing the first round 2-1, the second round 3-2. Coming back in the third at 4-3 and winning the fourth 3-1.